it's it's incre oh, it's incredibly disappointing to be honest. Like we we gave ourselves a show coming down here today. Like we we know the day against Clare wasn't good enough, so we knew we needed to bring something today. And to be in the position we were is is it's encouraging in one way, but it's seriously disappointing that we didn't finish it out because we had chances there to go three, four, five ahead at times and. I just, I know, it's hard to put into words, like, because any day you put on a tip jersey, you, you, you want to perform and you want to win, like, and unfortunately today we came up short. We slipped a little, but you're still trying to get back to those heights again, and it's it's hard there in the latter stages of the game, but uh, some encouraging signs that you were leading there for a lot of it. Yeah, it was, like, I suppose we, we brought serious uh, intensity and hurling and passion and everything you need for Munster Championship hurling in the first half, like, and... Even into the second half, like we know last year, once they finally hit us right after half time, but we held our own for a long part of that second half today. Like, and we kept in front, we kept taking on scores, taking on scores, and you know, unfortunately, near the end, we just got caught with a couple of scores that they got that we probably maybe could have scored at the other end to, to keep taking on the points. And that's that's I suppose why they're as good as they are. Like they're 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 all earned champions and they put you away when they get the chances. Mm, that last ten minutes there when Limerick got those goals, like it's, it's very hard reacting because the game is it's moved on, the momentum has shifted. It has, like I suppose there was a massive crowd here from Limerick today and the roars like you were driving them on near the end, like but be fair like to the to the tip players and to all the the pan like I'm I'm proud to be part of the group. I'm proud of every player. I'm delighted to be part of it with the management team and the players because everybody gives what they have and there's an honesty there among the players and the management that I suppose maybe weren't given credit for over the last couple of weeks and we'll stay fighting. Like we we'll give this another rattle like over the next two weeks now again like um any day you get to put on a tip jersey whether you go train or you get to go play a match like you give everything you have like and I think today lads poured everything they have out there and maybe a few little things that we can learn going forward um, as regards a bit more clinical execution um, things like that like that, that put them games away when you're in the driving seat because I go back to it again like in 10 minutes ago coming down the straight there today we were in a position to win that game and unfortunately we, we, we just didn't get there but Look, they're the things you learn, and unfortunately, in sport like this, it's a cruel game when you don't take your chances. You were the Tip FM five serve man of the match. Now, the thing with that is, you you were stepping up today. You were taking the freeze. You were without Jason Ford, your brother John, out injured for the year. Uh, like, there's not many teams could keep going after losing so many quality key players. Look, I suppose Stephen, that's why you have a panel of players there. Like, there's. A lot of lads there with, with minor all earners, 20 all earners, 21 all earners, senior all earners. Like, it's not as if we're, we're, we're short of players in tip or short of quality or short of honesty of players. Like, they are there and you see lads stepped in today. Some of their first starts, Ger Brown, Connor Staken. Brilliant games there. Like, Ger Brown had three or four points in the first half, I'd say. Like, so there's bodies there and I think we need to keep that going now over the next few weeks. Like, it's still monster championship like who knows what's going to happen next weekend like that's just the nature of sport like this thing isn't fully finished yet for tips so we'll get back in the training field this week like we'll get the bodies right and we'll go again and whatever happens we'll, we'll show up against cork and we'll, we'll put, put our body and soul into it again and that's all we can do now at this stage and learn what we can from today thanks no, no thanks, um you've been hurting for tip for a long time but you've probably never gone through a run of not being able to win games like the effort there the 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 was wanted to win is there but it, it's just not happening is it a, a frustrating time within the group yourself or it is like to be honest you play something you're not used level. to you want you want to win like you want to perform you want to you want to get the result like and i suppose we haven't got the results over the last few weeks but i think i'll go back to it again and it was probably character questioned of the temporary group between management and players over the last couple of weeks and I, I, that would probably hurt because there's lads there that are as honest as I've ever come across in a Tipperary jersey and I back them <coughs> fellas every day of the week from 1 to 33 on this panel and like right the results aren't going our way but um, it's not from the from the lack of effort the lack of want the lack of drive to succeed and train and look today I think showed that there is something there like and <coughs> hopefully the 
tip public will get behind us over the next few weeks now again and they'll come out and support us and, and drive us on because that helps as well like and like at the end of the day you go out in the field you have nothing but the lads beside you and, and, and I'm never as proud to be part of a Tipperary group and I will be over the next few weeks and as long as we're still going for this year. Thanks,